Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Everything Culinary with Chef Stephen Wolf. Today, Chef Stephen's going to show us how to make empanadas. Take it away, Chef Steve. Hello, everybody. Um, today, we're going to enter the Latin world and make some really authentic, delicious uh, empanadas. Traditionally, empanadas are um, a fried turnover pastry uh, with many different fillings in them. Um, today we're going to show you a little healthier version because uh, we, we bake them rather than fry them and they're just as delicious. Um, so we went ahead and chopped up one clove of garlic and uh, half of an onion and we're going to take that and we're going to start frying that up. I already got the pan heating up over there to try to save some time. So I always like to put um, vegetables and meat into a hot pan. It gets it going a little quicker, gets it a little seared. So just about a tablespoon or a little bit less of oil just to get that going. So we're going to uh, just dump that in there and let that go. Okay. So that's all that is. Didn't get that sizzle sound because it's just warming, but it'll be sizzling in a moment. So what we're going to do is because we don't really care for all those blended um, spices ahead of time. You can buy them if you, if you want to have something ready to go, such as like a, a sazon. Sazon, Goya makes a lot of different sazons and, uh, this one is good for a, uh, a yellow rice, and we make yellow Spanish rice with that a lot. But for this, we're gonna make our own little kind of taco seasoning. Now, like I said before, empanadas are just a turnover pastry. We bought these in the frozen section of the grocery store um, near the Spanish foods. And these come frozen, these have been thawed out, so they're ready to go. Um, but you can put anything you like in there. You could do American versions of, a, of an empanada. You can make a, a, a uh, Philadelphia cheesesteak empanada. Do a lobster roll empanada. You can even make a sweet one. Um, a uh, popular stuffing for a sweet empanada is guava and cheese. So that is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and make our Stevens taco seasoning spice. Um, now this is going to make more than you really need for yourself. So we usually have a little jar of this made up. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a little extra just to show you guys what we do here. Okay. I don't like little shaker tops, they don't work for me. So, what we have here is always kosher salt, um, some ground garlic, some paprika, some chili powder, ground cumin, and pepper. So there's different amounts, you know, garlic is, is, is a good flavor, so we're going to put about a tablespoon of garlic into our spice mix. One tablespoon of that. Then we're going to put a tablespoon of paprika. That's gonna give us a nice color and also flavor. Also a tablespoon of chili. Now in an earlier video, I talked about different chilies being different uh, heat levels. So be really careful with your um, with the chili that you buy. You know, Make sure it's not too spicy. If you like it spicy, add or lessen. Um, now for the cumin, I don't go too heavy on the cumin. You can put a teaspoon rather than a tablespoon. You can always add this later if you want to add a little extra, if you like that really, uh, that real Southwest flavor. Also, just one teaspoon of black pepper. And again, more if you like it. And then you give that a stir up. Okay, and you see kind of how it's looking. And for that amount of seasoning mix, you're gonna put maybe a tablespoon of salt. Again, salt is subjective. You can put a little less salt in there. You can put a little more salt in there, but it's not really a salt spice blend. Salt's there to help it out. And that is our taco seasoning. That smells like a taco right there, okay? So that's it. Um, now, now when you need your, your uh, seasoning for your meat, you don't need all these things to be pulled out. Now we're gonna go over and take a look at those onions. They've been cooking for about a minute now. And uh, we're gonna see how they're going. And you can see that we already have a little bit of brown going on that. That's nice, it's flavor, it gives a little head start. Um, you don't want raw onions in your, in your filling. Today we're choosing ground chicken as opposed to beef. Uh, trying to load less than our red meat intake. So we're gonna take that, get rid of that. Start breaking that up a little bit. And so all that meat, again, seasoning is subjective. I'm gonna take about a nice tablespoon of this taco seasoning mix, maybe even a little less because of how it looks. 
a little less. Okay. And then we're gonna keep cooking that up. Now, chicken, ground chicken, might have a different amount of fat, which will um, dissolve and uh, add more grease to the pan. This doesn't look like it's really letting off very much grease at all. So I'm just gonna stay with it a little bit and cook it. Now we're gonna take a little pause at this point, finish cooking off this um, filling, and then we're gonna come back, straighten up a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you how we roll out these empanadas. And it's really a simple process. You can probably make the meat and then form the empanadas, pop them in the oven, and be eating in about 25 to 30 minutes. So there you go. We'll be back in a few minutes.